here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. We often are looking at that and going, hmm, if only we could, if only we could get a person. Yeah, I know, I know. Well, <laughs> sometimes you get people running and you're thinking, that's the kind of person I want. We're joined right now by Tony Cowden. He is uh, running for Congress, House Representatives, North Carolina 4th District. Tony, thank you for joining us. Hey, Tom, thanks for having me. You bet. Okay, first, uh, your quick bio, because if you do it, it's going to take all day because you've done this thing for so long. I mean, uh, more than two decades uh, in the military and special people with CIA, let's put it that way. Lots of security clearances, uh, combat veteran, wounded combat veteran, and on and on in training. And now, of course, having your own range facility and training people both in firearms and in physical abilities. You've been busy. <laughs> you know, people people always say, they're like, hey, hey, Tony, I know you're busy, but... And I, I'm like, yeah, I'm just, I've always been a busy person. I, I'm not idle, you know, I, I don't take naps. I just, I stay busy. <laughs> you know, my dad Where always told me, if you if you want to get something done, give it to a busy person. It'll get done. You know, that I, I'm definitely one of those folks. I, I just, I'm constantly doing something. The next challenge, you know. So um, tell people what you're doing right now, because I, I love this idea of your training facility and the things you're doing. Yeah, yeah, so... You know, like like a lot of special operations types guys, you know, we like to, you know, continue and, and help folks train. A lot of folks will ask me if I do, like, the concealed carry permit type thing, and I, I don't do that. I no. do the the how to really get the gun out and get it working. Yes. Um, of course, you know, I'll teach off-road driving and, and all that kind of stuff, too, uh, kind of like the you know, off-road recovery uh, four before and whatever you want to call it. Uh, mm-hmm. I always say that, you know, I learned most of that growing up as a, uh, a rural redneck kid <laughs> and, and it just came in handy. It came in handy when we were overseas. You know, right. I was always the, the one that knew how to use the winches and the, uh, you know, all the blocks and jack winches and all that stuff. So, you know, but yeah, yeah it's, uh, yeah. it's actually yeah. pretty great. <laughs> Some folks yeah. have asked me like, what if you've got it going so good? And, and I and I really do. Uh, you know, I've got an amazing girlfriend. Um, you know, life life is amazing for me right now. And, so, you know, why, so why do you want to screw, like, Why do you want to screw that why, up and go to Washington D.C., man? You know, that is an excellent question because you know, with the with the intelligence agency, I never took a full time job. That would require living in Northern Virginia. Right. So I remained a contractor my entire career there, and. Uh, so now, clearly, when when <laughs> I get elected for Congress, mm-hmm. that means going to D.C. And, um, yeah, you know, it, it took a lot of thought, a lot of thought, a lot of discussion between myself and my girlfriend, Melissa. And so it's, a, it's a big thing. It's a life-changing type of thing. But the reality is, in the last two years, we've seen our country just just get tank just ran into the dirt I was, and it, it, it's not even explainable i'm not much of a conspiracy theorist because having worked for they for a long time you know <laughs> they sometimes have a hard time finding their way to the bathroom much less conspiring to in the world or whatever people think they're into so, so you, you're telling me that you're, is, you're telling me the cia is not as organized as we think it ought to be Ah. Uh, yeah, not not even close. <laughs> but you know, and, and and you know, the reality is, like every other of our our large governmental organization, it is, you know, there's like there's something about the more leftist, social minded people that are just drawn to working for that government paycheck. So you mm-hmm. know, in a lot of ways, the intelligence agencies are just offshoots of the State Department, and and very very much liberal minded folks. Um, so yeah, what would you know, what, watching, what would you what would you want to do as a U.S. congressman? What would you be doing differently, or what what would you bring to that? Well, you know, when when you started the intro, you you mentioned leadership, you mentioned representatives, and you know, nowhere in India any of my stuff will you see that I'm running for Congress. I'm running for U.S. House of Representatives. I want to represent my neighbors here in North Carolina. I want to represent the people of North Carolina. And clearly, let's face it, it's no longer a district or state thing. 
representatives affect the entire nation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like you said, they're, they're not necessarily leaders, right? They're supposed to be representatives. I'm supposed to go and represent the interests and the voters, the constituents of that district, in that right. state, and then the, the bigger goal of the American citizen. So I, I, don't, I just don't look at it like that. Uh, you know, I, I have interacted with quite a few uh, career politicians lately, and it only reaffirms that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, you know, good Lord. I, I had a, uh, I had a, a, an opponent who is a, <laughs> he's a, uh, you know, just wants to be a, a, a politician, right? right? I don't want to be a politician. This is, to me, this is like the, the, in a lot of ways, the grossest thing that I've ever done. I mean, there's days I learn things and I just want to go take a shower. <laughs> mm, uh, yeah. But to answer your question, you know, what do I bring to the table that's different? Here's, here's the reality about freshman representatives. They've got about no influence. They're nobodies. They're freshmen. Right. They don't have any friends. You know, they all, you know, all my opponents, they'll tell you they're going to go up there and change the world. And I'm like, okay, yeah, how? Well, one of the biggest things that I have going for me right now is a huge network, but there are eight other Special Forces Green Berets running, seven Navy SEALs, and 30, just over 30, Global War on Terrorism veterans. You talking, about, you, talk, you, you talking about running around the country right now? Yeah, yeah, all of them running all around the country. Wow. Uh, yeah. So, you know, that's huge. Number one, I, you know, some of my opponents in, in the primary and lots of great people around the nation, they, they, they're stepping up for the exact same reasons that I am. But I would tell you the difference between me and the average good candidate, the good person candidate, mm-hmm. is I'm not willing to compromise. You know, we're not – our country's not where it's at today because the Republicans and the conservatives conserved a darn thing. We're at – where we're at today because our conservative representatives, so-called representatives, have laid down and compromised time and time again with the Democrats and the right or the complete, excuse me, the left wing social liberals. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I agree with you that we, yeah, we elect. I'm not, rep- I'm not even, I'm not even mad at liberals anymore. You know, they, they tell us exactly what they want, but every step of the way, Republicans continue to think that they can reason and, 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 and compromise. Well, and there's a t- big difference. You know, Tony, that, I, I really think a lot of times they want they want to be liked. They want. They think the media right. will like them yeah. if they will compromise, yeah. and they don't understand. Look, you're never going to be liked. You're never going to be part of the in crowd. You're no. never going to be a part of the cool kids. And so you just, it's like yeah. a, a military veteran says, "Yeah, I don't need that. I just need to get the no. job done." Yeah, I, I don't. I don't need social media friends and likes. And you know, there's there's a lot of mm-hmm. you know grandstanders right now in the Republican Party and the Democrat Party who you know clearly are just doing it for the social media likes. They say wazoo crazy stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that's not what I care about. So that network, if even just half of these global war on terrorism veterans show up, and, and you know people are like, wait a minute, veterans aren't you aren't they going to want war? Hey, our generation doesn't want any more war. No. We're tired of this perpetual two decades of unconstitutional war. Right? Congress was a, is the only part of our our, our government that can declare war. Well, how is it we've been at war for two decades and no one declared war? Well, the only people who've really benefited from the war in Afghanistan and Iraq is the military-industrial complex. Mm -hmm. And we need a strong, strong Department of Defense. Okay. But we've got the fanciest F-22s and F-35s. But if you go down here to Fort Bragg, we've got soldiers living in barracks that's full of mold, falling apart, washers and dryers don't work, having to pay out of pocket, you know, to go downtown and wash their clothes, you know, at the local mm-hmm. laundry mat. Or, heck, a couple of boys I saw, they were like, oh, I just washed my clothes in a mop bucket. These are wow. soldiers. Wow. Right? Yeah. It's insane. So okay. everybody's pro-military. Everybody's, you know, pro you – know, the, the Republicans is the same talking points, you know, over and over again. And sure. they don't have any real solutions, you know. It's like – I use a, a really good example is, 
you know, the wall. Just build the wall. Illegal immigration. Just build a wall. And then my question is always, and then what? Because right. That's not the only. That's 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 not going to fix things, right? That's a right. that's a, a measure. That is a security measure. That is not a fix to the root problem. Why hey, are our southern neighbors trying to come here? Sure. I mean, you go to the pro- and, and, right. and I apologize that I'm just out of time, Tony. I'm going to ask oh. if people want to know more yeah. about it. Is is the best website your Tony Tony Cowden dot com? It is. It is, Tom. It is. Yeah, and we could sit here and talk all day long. It oh, is. Oh, yeah, I Tony love it. You know, com. And it's C O W D E N. For those who are trying to figure it out, C O W D E N, Tony Cowden dot com. Uh, if yes, they sir. want to help out or get involved, and if you're in North Carolina, uh, you, you can certainly get in there. And if you're in your district, but people can help no matter where they are. If they like what you're saying, right. they can help you out. Absolutely. You know, we, we raise a lot of money with just five, ten, and twenty-five dollar donations, and that's the ugly part of campaigning. Is you got to fundraise. Just what it is. So, yeah, it so, is. So, yeah. Hey, Tony, well, thank really you so much. You on, Tom. Absolutely. Yeah, thank thank you. you. And then I, I wish you uh, lots of luck with this thing. And thanks for joining us here. Right on, Tom. You have a good day.